literature and reading are so central to our life and uh, there are very few people who don't enjoy reading books and the book is a marvelous instrument you can take it away to anywhere you like to bed or to off on a cruise or desert island and you can read it and it takes you into a different world i like reading what happened in at waterloo at uh, in, in the battles of the napoleonic wars in the first world war second world war i like reading about what people who were actually there felt about it and wrote about it and did about it and said and thought about it that's what makes me get excited There's a great variety of people here, historians, journalists, uh, media people, it's a very interesting mix. I hope they'll take away a, a bit of knowledge about the poets, but also something about the, the providence of God in this mysterious entity which is the Catholic Church and how God writes straight with crooked lines. Every dish you're ever served is prefaced by a story, whether it's a story of you made it, uh, your mum made it, your grand made it, your dad made it, where the ingredients come from, what it means to you, and the rest of it, and to try and use food to tell stories and to use food to remind people of those stories and to remind them that they can create new stories. Unlike politics, unlike nationality, unlike football teams, religion, gender, everyone has a relationship with food. Whether you like it or not, it unifies everyone. When you talk about food, people think they're talking about the food they eat. They're talking about the memories around the food. So food is kind of the, the calendar of our lives. Writing has given me an opportunity to sometimes reflect, to draw conclusions about what I've seen. I mean, human beings express themselves in ways that the fruit fly and the koala bear don't. We seem to have and be blessed with imagination, the ability to dream, the ability to reflect, and with long memories as well. You put it into a book, someone takes it and reads it quietly in a corner. And it's a way of communication that at times, you know, not just equals, but surpasses conversation. I think story is a means of bringing a kind of order out of an existence which is perceived as chaotic and difficult to cope with. It contains a number of solutions to problems which haven't disappeared over the centuries. You know, they, they are stories of how love can save us, of how monsters can be overcome, of how you can journey to different places and transform yourself. And it's about adventure and self-discovery. Exploring means changing the world. It means discovering strange things in strange environments, bringing back the information about it which changes people's attitude towards the world so that we understand it in different ways. That's what ex the real exploration is about. And through reading entertaining, exciting, thrilling stories about the adventures and the uh, explorations that people have been on, they may get sucked into actually doing something about saving this planet. What drives me is using food as a way to expose people to another culture. I think through food you can talk about history, social trends, and through our books uh, it was sparked their curiosity to learn more about a subject. For over 40 years now I've been writing about Chinese food and I think people use my books as a way to understand what that culture is about. All the great questions, the great problems, the great possibilities press down on us. Our birth is a mystery, our death is a mystery, what the meaning of life is, why we're here. All of these things perplex us. And the only area that deals with all of this in a storytelling way is, is, is literature. Literature takes the, the stuff of our lives as its provenance, as its territory, as its homeland. And literature is the place you go when you want to meditate contemplate all the big and the small aspects of life. Romance, loss, identity, death, friendship, redemption. Literature, like a great mother, you know, opens its wonderful arms and embraces and enfolds everything.